Today I'm gonna to be making logos that mash up two words that I picked using a random word generator. If you're new here, I'm Tyler, AKA Tyler Talk, and on this channel I design, redesign, critique, and do all kinds of things with logos. So if you're into design, definitely give me a subscribe. So I use this site called randomlists.com slash things. And you can specify how many things you want it to generate. So for these logos, I like to do it just a mashup of two words. So I specified it to two things. And to keep it fair, I just went ahead and used whichever two things came up first when I hit the refresh button. Today, I'll be making two of these logos with the mashed up words. And I'm designing this using a combination of Photoshop, Illustrator, and Procreate, which is on my iPad. And without further ado, let's get started. So the words we got were cup sofa. So I decided to do this one on the iPad to make it kind of more like an illustrated logo. And I found an image of a sofa and a cup and I kind of wanted to make it look like the white part of the top of a solo cup was the sofa. So I illustrated that in Procreate, added in some color, highlights, and shadows. And when I was happy with it, I brought it into Illustrator. I went on Adobe Fonts and I found this font I really liked. Um, I kind of wanted to go with more of a funky vibe for this kind of font since it's such a weird brand. I played around with where the text and the logo could fit together and here's the final result. I am really happy with how this one turned out. I'm realizing it maybe reads more as sofa cup if it didn't have the words there, but I don't care because I just love this one so much. I like how graphic and clean that cup looks. The font is absolutely one of my favorite fonts that I've ever used in a project, I think. I feel like this company, if it was real, would make either like beer pong for really lazy people. I don't know exactly what that would look like, but maybe like beer pong played on the couch or something like that. Or maybe they make these cups that are like really hard to spill with so that you could just sit them on the sofa and it wouldn't have any leaking on the couch. So it looks like the second logo is paper can. So I started on my iPad in Procreate and my idea was to kind of do a crumpled Coke can but make it look origami. So I roughly sketched that out and then brought it into Illustrator and started refining the shapes using the pen tool. Once I was happy with it, I found this other color palette that I decided to go with instead and I ended up squishing the can just a little bit to make it fit better in a square. Then I found this cool font called Amador, brought it into Photoshop and played around with the composition a little bit and here's the final result. Again, with this second one, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I also really like the font on this one. It definitely makes it a little feel more like edgier. And that font plus the paper effect makes me feel like this company would be something like maybe like a modern media company because it has aspects of fonts from old newspapers and then the color of newspapers, but it looks kind of more modern and like something you would see online, maybe for an app or a website icon. I'm really happy with how the origami effect came out. I wasn't sure exactly what that would look like, but I think I did pretty good with that. And I really like how the shadow goes perfectly into that bottom corner. Well, that is it for today's video. I love both of these logos so much. I don't think I can choose a favorite today. As always, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it a like, subscribe to the channel, and let me know in the comments how you think I did and which two words you would wanna see me make a logo out of.